Hi everyone, I'm Paul, an engineer here at Anai. Welcome to our YouTube series where you can learn tips and tricks to help you design, validate and test products quicker and more effectively. In this series, we'll go through multiple test and measurement topics from using different languages like LabVIEW, Python and C-Sharp to operate test instruments to automating manual processes and enabling data analytics. Today I have a special guest who will walk us through creating an application in LabVIEW. A specific part he'll be showing us how to do is Python. So welcome, David, and thanks for being here. Hey, Paul, thanks for having me. I'm excited to hear more about Python. That is a, definitely a trending topic nowadays, so I'm curious to see how this integration happens in LabVIEW. Yeah, Python's definitely a really hot topic right now, which is why in 2018 we introduced the Python node, which allows users to call uh, Python code in LabVIEW. Um, we can go ahead and take a look right now. Awesome, looking forward to it. Yeah, so... Um, Paul, you actually gave me a Python script that I'm going to be calling, um, which is a similar use case to many others. They have teammates who use Python, and they want to implement their code without having to redo all of their work. So being able to call Python in LabVIEW is really helpful. Um, so let's go ahead here and look at our front panel and block diagram. Here we can see our block diagram. This is pretty similar to a uh, straightforward example. Um, we need three functional calls right here. We have our open Python session and we need to specify which Python version we'll be calling. The second, we have the Python node. We specify which Python file we'll be calling, the function we'll be using, and then uh, the inputs and outputs, the data type, and then um, any other input right here, a stress test in this case. Um, and then on the other side, we see the outputs. We'll be pulling in a number of information using a JSON string uh, for the Raspberry Pi, the CPU temperature, and the CPU usage. And then at the end, we finally have a closed Python session. So what this uh, Python code actually does, we have here in the studio um, a Raspberry Pi. So this Python script actually calls out to the Raspberry Pi and does a, st a stress test. So let's go ahead and hit run. And David, what does stress test one means? What does that do? Yeah, so stress test one actually just checks the default state of the Raspberry Pi. And then here we can see the info. So we have the Raspberry Pi info. Um, CPU temperature and the CPU usage. Oh, nice. So, yep. uh, so uh, as, as I'm running the Raspberry Pi, I can get information from, from the device and see my uh, power. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, and so this is pretty simple. Um, you know, we have this just here in this VI by itself, uh, but we also want to be able to view it in our system comprehensively. We don't want to have to switch VIs or kind of go elsewhere for our information. So. Here in the Studio 2, we also have set up, if you watched the previous video, we have a 4139 SMU that's outputting a voltage to power up the Raspberry Pi, as well as a 4309 analog input module um, that's reading in data from the 3.3 uh, voltage line. Uh, we have that set up here in the code, and then we also have our Python and Raspberry Pi. If we look at our block diagram, um, I have everything set up here already uh, from the previous video. And then at the bottom here, I've pasted in our Python code. And I've put this in an event loop so I can have it run specifically when I hit a run test button. Let's go ahead and run stress test 2 in this case and hit the run button. I love how you have the multiple instruments running on a single screen. It's really nice, right? You can have SMU and different instruments. That's pretty nice. Yep, exactly. It's great to have everything in one place um, rather than having to go separate uh, tools and everything else. So, How about, can I connect the third party instrument too instead of that SMU? Yep, of course. Uh, with What's great about LabVIEW is instrument connectivity. Um, so you're able to connect to any NI or third party instrument in it. Nice. Yep, uh, and what's also easy about this program, um, it's actually just a bunch of examples. So NI comes and LabVIEW comes with a bunch of built-in examples that you can find in the help menu. Um, so if you're looking to get started, you can go ahead um, and find examples there to look. That's cool. So and can we get a glimpse of this Python code that you used? Yeah, sure. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our Python editor, and we can see uh, the stress test. Nice. That's so, right there. so I can use any Python editor and just create my script, and it'll be able to run inside LabVIEW. Yep. Very nice. And now, I mean, Python is super exciting. And am I able to run any other languages or use any other? Um, programs to, to, to do this? Yeah, for example, you can also use MATLAB, um, C, or .NET. Too. Oh, nice. So you have a multiple choices of what, how you can approach this problem, yep. right? Yep. That's cool. I, I, 
Well, thanks for showing this demo. It's been pretty exciting to see Python in integration with LabVIEW here. Um, well, we hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe to see more tips and tricks, and we hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.